When I decided to look into Scandinavian folklore and mythology, I wasn't expecting to meet such resistance when trying to define what countries it was a part of. You see, Scandinavia is made up of Denmark, Norway, and Sweden, but Scandinavian folklore is made up of stories and mythologies from more countries than that. Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, Iceland, and the Faroe Islands all contribute to Scandinavian folklore. Scandinavian mythology is full of terrifying creatures. For example, there are trolls, massive, hairy, ugly, human-like beings that are known to sometimes kidnap maidens. Or Natmara, a werewolf woman who gives people nightmares by sitting on their chest while they sleep. Or even the Nekin, a water-dwelling spirit that plays the violin to lure people to their watery doom. But there is one creature that is more menacing than all the others. The Myling. During the Middle Ages, many Scandinavian families committed infanticide, or the practice of killing unwanted children when they're newborn. Reasons could be because the children were born out of wedlock or the parents couldn't care for them properly. More often than not, the children were girls, which could be because of the old belief that boys were more useful. The infanticide was carried out by bringing the children to remote areas where the children were unlikely to survive, and leaving them there. This was often done in secret, and because of this, the children were never baptized, so they were denied a peaceful afterlife. It is said that the spirits of these poor children become mylings, also known as Utbird in Finland. There are also other stories that claim the children's spirits come back for revenge on the parents that abandoned them as well. Mylings are spirits that chase people wandering alone at night. When they catch up to the traveler, they jump onto their backs and demand that they be carried to the nearest graveyard. They want to go to hallowed ground so that they can finally rest. Mylings are said to be enormous spirits, so they put a lot of strain on the traveler as they continue. As the person gets closer to the graveyard, the myling gets heavier and heavier. Some stories say that the myling sucks the life from a person as they travel, making the person weaker. There's another story that has the traveler slowly sinking into the ground. If the carrier finds themselves unable to bring the myling to hallowed ground, then the spirit erupts with rage and kills them. Myling are an incredible example of how culture and beliefs shape mythology. I see mylings as sort of a personification of guilt. The way it latches onto the traveler's back and slowly gets heavier and heavier is similar to the way guilt sits in the background of your mind, slowly getting worse until it's impossible to ignore. In the end, just like the myling, you can either let guilt destroy you or find your way to forgiveness. I truly enjoyed researching this and would like to thank Maria Christensen for the suggestion. If anyone has a suggestion, leave it down below. Bonus points if you're able to point me towards an expert I can talk to. Till next time.